What's up guys? We're gonna talk about this old water snake asp here for a little bit. I've caught some of the shortcomings with that, the kayak mount that comes with it and how I would prefer a uh, transit mount if I had it to do over again. All right guys, so as you see, it has this mount that comes with it and you mount it to the kayak like so. It's really difficult to put on. You have to literally take the fishing rod holder out and then you have to use your dexterous fingers to get in there and attempt to put these bolts and screws in. Um, the handle that came with it, I broke. Actually, there it is. So I broke this handle just clean off with normal use. I was holding it here. The problem with this is this mount is not enough to hold the steady. It doesn't matter how much you tighten it up because it doesn't have enough grip on it. So as soon as you crank it into the high gears, I like to call it, it goes, shoots up like that. So if you're trying to hold it down with the handle, it snaps like so. So what I have done is I've gotten some old, good old 550 cord, some old army tricks, and I put it on a little carabiner, and I just snap it to the handle right here. That way it can, I've got another one that used to go around the bottom. I guess I took it off for some reason. Oh yeah, I took it off because I snapped it to that like an idiot. But uh, if I want to kick it in reverse, but now I just hold on to it. And when I'm, when I'm steering, I just literally twist it with my hand. There's no need for all Actually, this really just got in the way. So do it over again, 100% would have gone with a transom mount with the little stubby one because they don't even get they don't give you the stubby one with this package or anything they just give you the the long handle on the mount but uh definitely when it went with the transom mount and gotten a rig to put across the back been a lot easier now let me uh let me show you let me let me show you where the weak points are on this bad boy as you can see here it comes with a little inset here to hold on to the bolt that doesn't hold on to the bolt whatsoever same deal on this side so you can't you can't tighten it up at all and then this part where you see it's holding on to the actual mount itself right here when you crank it when you turn it on it will rotate and there's no way to tighten it enough because of the same problem it's got this plastic holder for your bolt. It just keeps it, you can't get it tight enough to keep it from moving. So basically what you get is this motion right here. And there's no way to make it tight enough to keep it from doing that. So I've literally had to take 550 core to stabilize this trolling motor.